Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm doing a follow-up video on the cloud brush tutorial that we did earlier this week. So in that video I showed you the basics of how to create the cloud brush. In this video I'm going to show you how to use that same brush to create these colorful clouds that you see here in the background. So if you want to learn how to make the brush itself, I'll go ahead and leave a link here and down in the description for you so that you can follow along with that tutorial. So we're not going to go through this entire image right here or how this was created. It's a pretty basic shapes and uh, glitter textures. These are from my diamond design kit. Uh, you can pick that up on my website. I'll go ahead and leave you a link down in the description for that. And then the clouds right here are what we're going to be focusing on today. If you are interested in the text effect, let's see. Um, this right here is a font called Fortuna Dot. I will also leave you a link to that so that you can create this on your own. And all I did was add a pattern and a drop shadow to this. And again, that is a pattern from my diamond design kit. But I also have a video here on YouTube, which I will also link in the description, uh, where I teach you how to make something very similar to this from scratch. So if you're interested in watching that video to make this style on your own, go ahead and take a look at that video. So we're going to go ahead and get started with this colorful cloud background. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to File, New, and I'm just going to use a 1920 by 1080 document at 72 resolution. I'm in RGB, color, and 8-bit. I'm going to go ahead and click create. This can be any size you want it to be. It doesn't have to be this size. I'm only using it because it's the size of a thumbnail or the size of my screen. We're going to go ahead and get started with the background. The first thing I'm going to do is add a gradient to the background. So I'm going to come here to my gradient tool and I'm using this gradient right here. It's a super colorful gradient from Photoshop defaults and it is called Spectrum. You're going to find that in the defaults for Photoshop. If you don't see it there, you can append your gradients and it should show up there. But you should have all of these gradients available to you, the default. So this is the one that we're going to be using right here. It's called Spectrum. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm just going to drag the cursor from one side to the other just to make a diagonal gradient. And then I'm going to add a new layer by clicking on that little plus sign down at the bottom. And I'm going to add a gradient to this one as well. So this one right here is our background layer. And next what we're going to be doing is creating a pattern that we're going to use inside of our clouds. So this is not going to be part of this design at all. Uh, we're just using it to create that pattern. And what we're going to do here is again add another gradient. So make sure that you are on that gradient tool. And I'm just going to drag this from top to bottom just to get this these horizontal lines. And then I'm just going to right click, convert this to a smart object. You don't really have to do that if you already know exactly what you want. But if you want to be able to make changes, go ahead and turn that into a smart object. And then you'll come to filter. We're going to go to distort and then we're going to go to wave. So inside of Wave, these are the dimensions that we're going to be using. You can see a little preview right here. All I want from this is to get a good variation of color. So I'm getting a lot of color horizontally and vertically with this one. So our uh, settings for this are 28 for the number of generators. Our wavelength is minimum 70, maximum 71, amplitude 236 minimum, maximum 248. Our scale is 100% horizontal and vertical. Make sure that wraparound is checked and your type is sign. And we'll go ahead and click OK. And then you're going to get something that looks like this. Now again, I'm just looking for these variations in color. So horizontal and vertical variations in color. Um, but I don't want my clouds to be this color. I want to get more of a pastel, uh, you know, that, that Tumblr unicorn look. So we're just going to click on this little circle icon, the layer adjustment icon, and choose solid color. And I'm going to choose white, so FFF, FFF for that one. And I'm just going to take down the opacity to about 60, maybe 50%. So I'm looking for something like like this that's you know not too strong of a color. 
Uh, we don't want the, we just more pastel looking. With this showing up on the screen, I'm gonna come here to edit, define pattern, and you can name this anything you want. This is just a demonstration, so I'm gonna click OK. Okay, so now that I have that pattern in there, I don't need this one anymore, so I'm just gonna delete that, but I am gonna keep that color fill because it's keeping that background um, a pastel color. So I'm just gonna grab both of these and command in the letter E to merge that so that we can keep that color and simplify our layers a little bit. Now I can come in and start creating my cloud. So I'm gonna add a new layer right here. So I'm gonna come here to the pattern uh, stamp. You might have the clone stamp tool selected. So if you click and hold that, the little flyout will come out. We're gonna choose this one, the pattern stamp tool. I'm gonna change the brush that I'm using. So I'm gonna use that uh, cloud brush. It's called Big Clouds. I do have this available for download on my website. So there are two of them here, the Big Cloud and the Scattered Cloud. Uh, we are gonna be using the Big Cloud for this one. You can use either one, but uh, for this demonstration, I'm using the Big Cloud. So I have it at 250 pixels. Normal, uh, the mode is normal, opacity 100%, our flow is 100%. And I'm gonna come here and click on that drop down menu and I'm gonna choose this right here. This is that pattern that we created. That's the pattern we're gonna be using to paint with and make sure that Impressionist is turned on. Okay, so now on our blank layer, we can start painting on those clouds. You can see um, that you're getting a good variation of color and that's because of the pattern that we use so we had all of those color variations horizontal vertical now this is all going to depend on on um, the amount of color variation you want obviously i have a ton in this one uh, but you can create your pattern to have less of a color variation and just kind of gradually move into different colors but for this one i just wanted to show you a different way that you could use that cloud brush I'm actually going to come in here and add a new adjustment layer. So we'll come in here and use color balance. And um, this is another way to, to enhance your colors as well or change them. So you can kind of work with these sliders a little bit, get more of a dramatic look or less, and um, work with this in that way. Of course, you can come in here and add an inner shadow to your clouds. And that'll just give you a little bit more depth there as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So you can use this to create backgrounds, quotes, patterns, or you can use it to create things like this, just kind of as a backdrop. So this is a pretty simple and basic way to use that cloud brush. And I'm sure you can use this method with a whole bunch of different other brushes, but uh, in particular for this style. I just wanted to show you a different way to use a cloud brush other than just, you know, the typical in the sky type of thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching.